Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will teach you how to create user parameters for your Niagara effects. They are really important because sometimes when you're working with other artists, they don't know how to use Niagara and if they want to change something fast, they don't have to open this Niagara editor and to look and to search where they can do it. They can just make it from the level and really fast. So now I'll show you how to make them. First, I prepare the smoke effect for you on which we will work. So I will open it now. It and this is inside. So now we will make four, three or four user parameters which will control our smoke globally. And let's start with the lifetime. So first you have to find this user parameter menu. If you don't see here on the left side, you have to open window and to find user parameter and to enable it. And to appear here. After that, this plus icon, let's write float here and let's name it life. Okay, so this will be our life of uh, our particles. I will give a value of one by default and here on the lifetime mode, you have to click here, multiply float here now a, uh, to A to click a random range float and now let's give two main values of our smoke life. So two and three will be by default. And here the B will be our global user parameter. So drag and drop it here. And now you can control the lifetime globally. Now you can see the lifetime, it's much more than before. So also you can decrease it. Now it's a little fast because the lifetime it's almost zero. Okay, then the default one, it's one. So the default one, it's one and inside it's two and three. Okay, so this is how to make the user attribute for the life. Now let's do it for the size of our particle. So one more time here, click float and let's write size. Okay, this lifetime appears here because before I did it and it's still somewhere in this effect. So I will delete it. Don't pay attention to it. It's not part of our work now. And uh, this sometimes uh, you can see the, the user parameters which you are not using because they are somewhere in this effect and still there like a setting. And if you don't delete it from the effect, they will appear always here, even they are not working. So that's why be careful when you make this user parameter. Sometimes you can make a mistake and to forget something. So now for the size, uh, you have to first the size here. So we are, have a sprite at a renderer, so we will use sprite attributes for the size. And now I will start from non-uniform here. Okay, multiply vector 2D, here the A, uh, random range vector 2D, and let's give a value like 200 and, okay, let's be 200 and 300, like a size. And our size by default will be one. So I will drag it and drop it here to the B. And now we can control the global size of our smoke. You can see, even we can decrease it to make it smaller. Okay, so this is for the size. It's same like for the life. And now let's add a velocity. So this is the speed and the power of our effect. So how you can do it? So velocity have to be linear here, multiply vector again a to make a random range vector to give some values like 30 here 30 here 5 5 here 50 and 60 for example so we are just giving some animation to our uh, our particles and here let's make again float user parameter to name it speed and this lifetime up here again i will delete it Okay, the default will be one and I will move it to the B. And here now you can see it's much faster, even more. And now one more thing, it's time to give a, a user parameter to our spawn rate. So here, multiply float, here a random range because let's make it between five and six. And again, now lifetime will appear, but we will delete it again. Okay, float, okay, lifetime. So rename spawn rate. And by default one, and here, drag it inside. 
now we have more particles speed and everything okay let's click save and now let's see how it's in our level how we can control it there so here it's our smoke you can see our user parameters are here and by default are one everywhere so spawn rate lifetime you can see now the lifetime it's much more and it works if we want to decrease it we can so the size and the speed so we are ready with our tutorial i hope you understood everything and this tutorial to be really helpful for you when you're working so see you guys